a phone lock. Well, sometimes. It's hard to explain. What happened here? And where is the merchant we intended to meet? It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. Really? Most Intervinter wouldn't bother to care. She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. But she has the Venatori, unless... Perhaps dear Calpurnia has something she wishes to hide. An invoice for a shipment of slaves. Vicinius was selling more than rose oil then.
must have been Vicinius. It seems the Venatori tired of following him. Let's look around. Shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. Here's another one. The crystal's whole again. Calpurnia, I had no intention. I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. No! Wait! Wait! A dwarven relic for storing memories. There's one or two in Minrathus. Very rare. Dagna might know what to make of it. I've no beef with the Inquisition, but you will not stay with here. They'll appoint a new divine soon. One will make you stand up for us instead of protecting your life. Despairing that they are lost forever. But the one who repents, who has faith is shaken by the darkness of the world. And must not be your blood to the misfortune. Watch your tongue. <sighs> Maker. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on me. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. I 
I'll do what I can to stop these attacks, Josephine. Thank you, Inquisitor. I think I may know how. The two parakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a du paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orlé. Even an assassin's word is his bond. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor. Just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out du paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Willie. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting...